uh, say yes, I struggled with, um, at least in terms of envisioning Micah as like, you know, a mother. I think for me, it was like difficult. It's mad in the dunya bomba clot. <laughs> Listen, it's mad in the dunya. Welcome to a little plat book. You know what time it is. We're talking to you guys about Lovers Blind, uh, season four, episode twelve. And Paul is giving us five reasons why he ain't marrying, why he ain't marrying Micah today or in ten years' time. He told us straight, "I'm not gonna marry her today." Or in 10 years' time, I can't see it happening, okay? He's going to give us his five reasons for it, okay? So if you're new to the channel, like it, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification of the uploads. And for those of you who are returnees, you wouldn't know what it is, baby. You got the minerals. You got the minerals. Stay hydrated. All right, cool. Let's get into the video because let me tell you something. Those five reasons... You know what I mean? So you want to you would have heard one of them just on this video. Uh, a video is passed, right? First one he kind of said was uh, uh, about the you know he's not he's not seen no marriage and stuff. But let's let's get into it. Cult for me to do it's just sort of um, just like a nurturing aspect. I think that some people. Bloody hell, bloody hell. So point number one, he said, "Listen, I just can't see her being a nurturing kind of woman. I can't see her." being a nurturing kind of woman right i even went a bit further because actually i should have done point number two i would have point number one first but anyway all right so he can't see her as a nurturing type of woman that's what he said he doesn't see the nurturing aspect of her that's very tight if you can't see that in a partner and you can't see that in a woman that you're trying to, to trying to marry yeah it's gonna be very difficult to marry her because of course you want kids you want to continue your legacy and i wonder what he saw hmm might it have been the behaviors that he might have have witnessed or at least heard about in the pods. It might have been some of her manipulative, some of her, uh, uh, you know, um, you know, harmful, uh, cruel kind of behaviors that she performed in the girls' pods. It might have got back round to him. Now he's met everybody, so some of that might have play, played on his mind. He might have never mentioned it, but it might have played on his mind. Okay, all right. So clearly, he couldn't see the mother instinct in her at all. And probably the way he was the way he was being treated by her, that also played a part. Now, point number two is going to say this aspect. Then, so that's nurturing aspect. And Micah, as like you know, a mother, I think for me it was like difficult for me to do. It's just sort of a. Now, so we got two. So the first, the first one was her, 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 her nurturing aspect. He never felt the nurturing from her. But point number two is he can't see her as a mother. Yo, that is freaking wild for him to say he can't see game over her as a mother that's madness you know what i mean to to say that he can't see her as a mother that's a huge thing so not only can't you see her nurturing spirit and her nurturing caring ability he actually just can't envision envisage her as a mother now that's 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 a lot you know, that's a lot to take in. Um, let me go to the third point. I think I, even, I might have even cut myself short by saying how many points. Are. I think it's even more than the five that he talked about, to be honest. But let's go here. Sucks. I really do love her. But it's not the right thing for us. There was definitely love. Like, that's not a question. But it didn't seem to always be reciprocated. Kai, 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 Kai. Point number three. He said, listen, I just felt like the love wasn't reciprocated. Now, what was he seeing? Because I thought Chelsea was looking at him with love and intensity and like, you know, oh, I want to dance with somebody, you know, da -na 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 -na. maybe I just don't get it. Do you enjoy being like, I, I, I thought she saw love. I thought he was seeing love from her. I thought he said he made her feel, uh, you know, you made me feel like a nap. No, no, sorry, that's not the right song. But you know, um, you know, he said he was feeling things that he never felt before. So why is he feeling like there's no reciprocation in this love? Right? Why is there no reciprocation? He said, right? Let's, let's listen a bit more to what he says. And I think, you know, that could have been real or it could have been a defense mechanism. Maybe she held back her love at times because she was. So he's saying that for him, that she held back a little bit. Now, I don't know how all the way true that is, but of course, Micah laughing and joking in the pods, laughing at people. I already said it. She is do she does all that as a mean girl because inside she's so vulnerable. 
right? Now, probably because her parents had divorced early on as well. And I think that's a stepdad that was there. I'm not sure. It seems like it feels like a little bit. Um, but, you know, something about, something went wrong for Micah. I don't know where it went wrong. Maybe it's because she's an only child. But that mean spirit that she had in the pod, we ain't forgotten that. And that tells me that something about the inwardness of you, it, it couldn't be given. Now, she said something so interesting on the altar. She said, you know, that um, she said that, you know, she loves the fact that Paul was able to love the parts that seemingly were unlovable. Yeah. She said, listen, he loved the parts of me that seemed seemingly un unlovable. I don't know if I've got the quote points there. Yeah. Um, you know, so in that instance, I was like, wait, so if you're saying this, it's the unlovable parts of you, of course, everybody wants to be loved for every part of them. But if there's some unlovable parts in you, I wonder what those parts were. And I wonder if it influenced what Paul was also seeing. I wonder if it influenced how Paul actually saw her. I wonder if it influenced Paul's decision in terms of how he felt about her. This is a bit more. I'm afraid that I wouldn't reciprocate it. And then it was just like this negative feedback loop to tell her no destroyed me. Like. He said, maybe there was a negative feedback loop in a sense of like, she thought I wasn't caring. I thought she weren't caring. It becomes a loop. Everyone thinks they're not caring and she pulls back and I pull back because she's pulled back or whatever. And it becomes this negative loop, which is so real. It does happen. And it, do you know how that happens? It happens because of fear. When you're in fear of loving, when you're in fear of being hurt, when you're in fear of being, uh, uh, you know, when you're in fear of, uh, being loved as well and opening yourself up. This is where you can find yourself in these spaces where you have these negative feedback loops because you're waiting for one thing to change another person and you're like, all right, cool. I'm going to hold back my love. I'm saving all my love, not for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to, you don't want to give that love over because you're afraid that they're going to hurt you or take advantage of your kindness and your love as well. All right, let's go to point number four which was slightly later on i mean listen 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 it'd be crazy y'all it'd be crazy y'all um i guess that was kind of point number four as well so but let's just go to it uh you know let's go to it hopefully i can get the right point as well let's okay here we go with a lot was is love enough i wish i could have taken you with me as difficult as it has been for me to envision me marrying her today Man said, listen, is love enough? What's love got to do, got to do, got to do with it? What's love got to do, got to do, got to do? You know what I mean? Is love enough? That's what the question is asking right now. Is love enough for me to be able to stay in this and to stay and to be married to this woman? What else was he looking for? Maybe there was a, a aspect in terms of, because one minute you're talking about, you know, not getting a reciprocation. And then now we're getting the fact that if I love you, is it enough? What else was there? The truth of the matter is you always doubted her. You always doubted her because you never felt like she actually was the one that you needed. So yes, you guys saw the way you saw the world, the way that she saw it, the way you saw it, but you weren't also being true and honest because we didn't hear any of these complaints. None. Right. We didn't hear any of these complaints from Paul the entire time. Right. So you've not really been honest yourself with us, at least, because I've never thought any of these points were coming up. Right. So I don't remember much of the points that you complained about. Right. So that that's also a big thing. And then, OK. Equally as difficult for me to envision marrying her tomorrow or 10 years from now. What I would like to do is learn to be grateful. Man said, I can't see myself. I can't, I'm struggling to envision myself marrying her today, tomorrow, and in 10 years' time. But yet you keep going to her and talking to her and saying that I make a mistake. Sir, which one is it? Okay? Which one is it? Which one is it? You know, either you can... You know, he said it out straight. Listen, I, I can't envision this in now, tomorrow, and in 10 years' time. That brother went deep. Telling us that he can't envision this stuff. Cheese and breadsticks, blood. I'm gonna say it as a flag on the play, baby. That's a flag on the play, okay? That's a flag on the play. Paul, I like you, but that last one there was a bit madness, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't told us you loved her, but you, you know, you're not sure we can marry him today, tomorrow, or 10 years' time. Then, bro, if it's not a yes, it's a no, like your mother said. If it's not a, if it's not a yes, it's a no, but anyway, listen, I don't want to keep it long. Let me know, do you agree with the five points? Did you see the five points? Maybe you saw something different. I don't know. Let us know your thoughts down below.
We'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification uploads. We appreciate y'all. What's love got to do? Got to... You know what time it is. Time it is.